day I sat at my home. I saw my wife carrying something on the behind. I asked her what you are carrying. She replied immediately, it's none of your business. Then I ran away behind her, I saw a very nasty cloth. I doesn't even use that particular cloth to clean my muffin. Then I understood uh, she is adopting this unhygienic method to manage the period days. Then I asked her why you are using that unhygienic method. Immediately she replied me, I also know about napkin, but myself and other women in our family start using napkin. Then we had to cut our family milk budget. Well, everybody in India knows that waste sits outside their streets, sometimes outside their homes. And uh, the behavior is you throw your waste out every day. So if you throw your waste out every day, it's going to pile up somewhere. So how do you stop that one, you know, one point? My solution addresses that one critical area. When I started my practice, and we belong to the nearby district, Ghazipur, so when I came back to Banaras after my post-graduation and when we started doing practice, then a lot of people used to come look at us to know exactly what we can help them in various uh, healthcare problems. So then we realized how much is the need and then we made it a point to circulate this message which was not only healthcare um, diagnosis and management but also awareness in various other programs. It was very tragic that two-thirds of the hospital beds were filled with people with waterborne diseases. More than 2,000 children in India died every day because of waterborne diseases, because of lack of access to safe water. So this was the uh, need on which I thought that we had to come in and make it. Somebody had to do it and we thought we should do it. I had got the opportunity of implementing similar uh, social enterprises earlier in health and water sector and then there was a chance meeting with Dr. Alan Hammett who has been a co-author for the bottom of pyramid along with Professor Pradhar. So both of these inspired me to start this enterprise Health Point Services. The most common problem is that the maximum concentration of the doctors are in a metropolitan city where they enjoy a good life and they are not burdened much because uh, there are main, main, so many multi-specialty hospitals which take care of the other problems. But in a smaller city, like even in Banaras, uh, it's a more of a propriety kind of organization. A person who is a doctor has to manage everything from down to how to the sheets are being washed or not, the guard has come or not, everything they have to do. So there are not many, you can say, enterprising people because from the day one they are apprehensive that they have to do a lot of work other than the medical practice. The sector experiences problem on account of uh, you know, uh, paucity of doctors, uh, not uh, non-availability of quality drugs, uh, diagnostics not being available in rural areas and of course more than 200,000 villages not having clean drinking water. Presently, we are providing uh, safe and clean water to people because that itself has become a very acute problem because of a lot of contamination, um, not managing water sources properly, industrial effluents, growing population and the needs, and uh, not uh, you know taking care of the water resources. So the water itself has got very contaminated because of which you have to treat water in a sustainable manner and provide safe and clean water to the people. The problem in the sanitary napkin field, even now the Indian women are not using napkin. It is not able to penetrate in the bottom most pyramid of the uh, lower level of uh, lower level middle class women. The reason is not only of, uh, availability and affordability, there are a lot of taboos in each and every state. So if you use napkin then you throw it on the street, if a dog catches that you will have a quarrel with your husband or if the snack uh, goes over there, then the women will not get married. So like that, lot of taboos for each and every state. How do you get people not to throw out as much waste? Because we have a very good, robust recycling industry in India. 
and it's a, it's a shame that uh, we don't understand it and uh, make sure that everything can be recycled. Only 10% needs to go to landfill. Now, uh, almost 80% is going to landfill. Instead of using a multi crore plant to make napkins, now we invented a small device. Even a rural woman can make napkin at their bedroom. So this decentralized production approach makes that uh, napkin availability even in a remote areas. So because of that uh, decentralized production, automatically the napkin costs come down. So that's the solution uh, applied for this field of this uh, uh, switching over from macro model to micro model. Uh, most municipalities and uh, government agencies um, don't factor in uh, the exploding cities. So their approach to making solutions happen in the sector are all about centralization. And uh, behavior and the social behavior, the way Indians behave, is contrary to that. So it, our approach is decentralized and uh, make things happen because you are not compounding the problems. If you set up one large machine and it breaks down for a day, you have the whole city's waste waiting for a day. Now that's not a, a you know, that's not feasible. We embarked upon bringing in technology, leveraging technology to address all four sets of problems. Namely, brought, we, we, we brought in telemedicine to address the paucity or shortage of doctors for rural areas. We brought in advanced point of care diagnostics to address uh, the non-existence of diagnostics. And of course, high quality generic pharmacy drugs and uh, uh, reverse osmosis based safe drinking water for uh, uh, communities that we serve. We will provide all the systems with uh, uh, sustainability. That means you have to have an AMC or the user fees model so that they become economically sustainable and they can generate enough revenues for themselves. On the next sustainability, you have social sustainability where people have to be made aware and people move from unsafe water and diseases to safe water and health. So that is the um, second uh, problem that we uh, address by educating the people and making them aware and bringing in social behavioral changes. And the third aspect of course is environmental sustainability where we are uh, giving technologies which are green and environmentally friendly and which can make, we can make it environmentally sustainable as well. Our aim is to provide them with good information and therefore we are trying to have various micro clinics like in Ghazipur we have 16 blocks and we are trying to have various micro clinics which will be manned by paramedics which will not be a big challenge and then at the same time we are talking to the people in ISRO that we will be have a connectivity so that we will solve the main problem at the same time we will be having a hub and spoke model where in the micro clinics can be connected to depending upon the need of the person who is there um, in one of the spokes or one of the hub. Sankalp is the only event that I know of or I think it is a benchmark for bringing in the best social enterprises on a common platform. We believe that Sankalp provides a very unique opportunity in India wherein we get delegates nationally and internationally so both from point of view of learning and dissemination of this model, learning from others and disseminating the health point business model, and also to benefit from sectoral experts. I think going there will uh, get, get for us, get a sense that where we stand as a business and uh, are we credit worthy,
so i think that this is one of the best platform uh, sankalp in which we are facing each other like the investors and the, um, this entrepreneur is uh, at the same level talking to each other we are looking for a help to form a team to spread this movement across india almost 30 state and uh, rest of the countries we at jaisri indices are very proud to be the nominee of Sankalp Award 2011. We at Health Point Services India Private Limited are proud to be the nominees for Sankalp Award 2011. We at Daily Dump are proud to be nominees at the Sankalp Awards 2011. We at GV Meritech are proud to be the nominee of Sankalp Award 2011. We at Water Life India are proud to be nominees of the Sankalp Award 2011.